Hi all, Sonia here. I have a new journal to share with you and uh, this one is kind of... let me just... sorry. Okay, um, it's kind of a uh, butterfly... Oh, shabby... I don't know, that kind of thing. <laughs> but I really like how it turned out. It has a vintage clock face on the front. Uh, I added a little lace flower underneath this butterfly brad, which is almost the same color as this, hmm, interestingly. Uh, I added a little bit of glitter and these pearls around, then uh, some lace, again that vintage um, lace flower here and here, then this uh, gorgeous little trim and the vintage uh, doily piece, then Here's the back. And I did the covers by uh, recycling some cardboard and then adding my um, handmade paper to it. Uh, then painting with gesso and acrylic paint and sprays. And it actually has, a, you can't see it on the camera, but it has a little bit of uh, shimmer to it. And uh, I reinforced the spine with the uh, cotton uh, fabric, painted, you know, tea dyed, and added lace, and that's that's that. So on the inside, there is a fabric pocket with lace and this lovely trim. Then I have this handmade tag. This is vintage paper and this vintage uh, card, like a postcard. It's really lovely. It's from... Oh, can I see that? 1967, I think. So that goes there. Then my eco dyed onion paper with some lace. And then a lot of pages for journaling. This is also from a vintage uh, diary type of thing. Sorry. I'm. Oops. <laughs> Um, then uh, tea dyed, tea and coffee dyed paper. This is eco dyed. Here is an embellishment. This uh, is just lace, and I stitched these butterfly cutouts. Um, this is uh, plastic from. Oh boy! Whoops like a cornflakes or something like that. Um, yeah, and then this is a coffee filter. Coffee dyed pages, tea dyed. This is also... Whoops, sorry guys, I'm reaching over my camera. I still don't have a proper camera. Um, I'm working on it, but... Okay, I can't do it now, but it's you can see it's just paper on both sides of this lace and then I added this vellum flower and a little bit of uh, sequin uh, in the middle. I might add something to these paper clips just for fun. And here is also uh, an embellishment. These are sewn hearts also made out of some recycled paper bag, I think. 
then eco dye then yeah this is a tux with this beautiful lace and this is a vintage um, postcard I guess 19 I don't know, maybe 61? No, 51. Yeah, 1951. And it's really pretty. Then here is a tuck spot. This is a paper doily I got uh, in a swap on Junk Journal Junkies. And this lovely uh, yarn, then I added some fibers and uh, flower, this is a vellum butterfly and this is napkin decoupage on some vintage paper and this is also vintage paper that I tea dyed or coffee dyed, I'm not sure and then I folded it so and stitched around so it's a bit more sturdy and it's like a journaling card or page and again more papers, another coffee filter butterfly with some fibers. These are just blank pages. This is a tuck spot. This can be taken off, but I will just see this one. Uh, 1963. It's from the year 63. And that goes there. And just, you know, more pages for journaling. Uh, that lovely lace. I didn't want to add too much to this journal. Um, I don't know, I just felt these embellishments and tuck spots were enough. Here is a belly band made out of this gorgeous cotton um, lace. It was a collar and I added here some yarn and sequins and then these uh, vintage book page flowers and a vellum flower and then here's a tag I made with some recycled paper and vintage paper then also here another one and this napkin decoupage with vintage paper that also goes there here is another tuck spot and it has this receipt from 1943 and I stitched uh, another piece of vintage paper just to add a little bit more strength to it and now it can be written on the back and this is just a small napkin decoupage tag I glued it on and again some lovely papers for writing, more lace Oh, and this is also a tuck spot, another stitched butterfly and vintage papers, and this cute, cute, cute uh, envelope, it's from 1949, and it's just so gorgeous, and it has a small card inside with some writing in Hungarian, and I just love it, it's so cute. That goes in there, and some blank pages, more lace, and another fabric and vellum pocket. I just added vellum for more strength. And these are, this is vintage, kind of a cardstock, and these are vintage book pages that I added gesso to so that you can write there and that's that that's my new journal and I hope you like this one um, yeah I have some more journals some finished some still uh, work in progress but I'm hoping to show them to you very soon Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.